Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bronwyn and today starts DCP week. Throughout this whole entire week, I'm gonna be going through the different aspects of the Disney College program just to try and give you as much information about it as I can. I am by no means an expert, but I have completed three programs at this point. So I feel like I do have a lot of information that I can share with you all. I am going to go ahead and give the disclaimer that the Disney College program is always changing. So what I say today in May of 2020 may be completely different by the time the fall or spring program comes around in other years. So although things might change just a little bit, hopefully this gives you a better idea of everything the Disney College program is about. I thought since today is day one, I would start with the question that a lot of you are probably wondering, and it's just what is the Disney College program? As you can probably infer from the name, the Disney College program is an internship that allows you to work for the Walt Disney Company while you're in college. The program is offered in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, as well as in Disneyland over in Anaheim, California. Now, I have only completed programs at Disney World in Florida, so I really do not know anything about the California program. I know that there are some similarities, but there also are a ton of differences. So if you're looking for information about the Disneyland program, I'm probably not the best one. There are also lots of ways for international students to do the program as well. There's the international college program, there's the cultural representative program, there's the cultural exchange program. I, being an American, do not really know a ton about those programs, so I'm definitely not the person to ask. However, I do just want to make it known that just because you're international doesn't mean that you can't do the program. I think one of the biggest things I get asked about the program is what the college aspect of it is. It's kind of split up into different semesters, so you can apply for just the fall, which is August, September until January. There also is a spring program, which is January, February until May. Now when you're applying, you do have the option to do the fall advantage program or the spring advantage program. It's called a advantage there really isn't any advantage to doing the fall advantage program versus the fall program same with like the spring one the only difference is the length of your program so if you're doing the advantage program it also tacks on the summer so if you're fall advantage it'll be may june until january and if you're spring advantage you'll be january february until august as of right now there is no just summer program some particular seasons depending on how many people they need they will offer a summer alumni program which as you can guess by the name is only offered for people that have already completed a program so they're alumni of the DCP so the first program that I did I did the fall advantage program back in 2017 I did do a summer alumni program the next summer so the summer of 2018 and then I did just the fall program this past 2019 so because of this in order to do the program most participants do take a semester off of school now for some people this can push them behind it's difficult depending on your major to figure out a semester that you can take off I do know that a lot of colleges and universities will offer an internship credit for it however that is dependent on your school what your major is what you're necessarily like going to the program for like for me my first program was in photo pass and one of my majors in college was photography so I was able to get internship credit because it kind of like directly related to what I was studying in school however if I was doing like merchandise or something I don't think I would have been able to get an internship credit to count towards one of my majors that is solely based on my university though, so you may be able to talk to the program heads of your departments and that kind of stuff to maybe figure out something if your role for the program doesn't have anything to do with your major. You can also still take classes online through your university. So during my Advantage program, over the summer, I took a couple classes just to kind of help knock some of them out. I've also had friends that take an entire 12 credit course load or more during their program, which is definitely possible. It just leaves you with very little free time because you still are working full time and also trying to go to school full-time it's hard <laughs> for me personally I graduated an entire year late from college however I don't know if it's necessarily only because of Disney I also transferred colleges after my freshman year so that kind of pushed things back it's definitely still possible to do the Disney college program and graduate on time it just may mean that some of your semesters are gonna be a little bit heavier of a course load than others there are also some classes that are offered through the Disney college program that a lot of them will count back towards your university again it depends on your school however those are not required I personally never took any of those classes however I did have friends that did and one of the good things about that is it automatically is already built into your schedule so you're not gonna get scheduled during work and then have to try and trade your shifts or anything like that they already know that you have that class at that time so you will have that day off however the same is not true if you are taking classes through your university Disney doesn't really have any idea of what your schedule is or how things work so that is gonna be up to you to schedule times to make sure that you have time to do your schoolwork take all the exams and everything that you need to it obviously 
obviously it's still possible it's just that Disney won't schedule it in for you I think another important thing to note is that you have to have completed at least one semester of college to do the program so if you just graduated high school and you know that you want to do the Disney college program you do have to complete that first fall semester and then you could go for that spring you wouldn't be able to go for like your first semester of college you have to have completed that first you can also apply for the program up to a year after you graduate. I know a lot of people want to stay with the company after graduation, so doing it the semester after you graduate kind of gives you the ability to, you can stay, hopefully extend your program, try and go part-time or full-time, and then there you go. I get asked all the time, when in college should I do the program? This is completely based on you and your program because every school is different, every major and department is different, that it really is going to be what works best for you. What worked for somebody else may not necessarily work for you. I have two older sisters that did the program before I did, and they both did it the fall semester of what would have been their sophomore year of college. That worked out great for them, so when I got to that age, I applied for the program to do that fall of my sophomore year and did not get accepted. That actually worked out really well for me because during that time I transferred schools it really gave me the ability to get settled into my school and into my programs before I left for a semester so when I did the fall advantage program it was the fall of my junior year I then did the summer alumni program in between my junior year of college and my senior year of college and then I did my third one the semester after I graduated I always tell people if you know that you want to wait and do it a little bit later in college you want to wait until after you graduate try applying once during college just to kind of get familiar with the process because it's not going to be fun if you wait all of this time to do it your, after your senior year and then you don't get accepted and then you're kind of out of luck. That definitely try and get as familiar with the application process as you can. There is absolutely no harm in applying and getting accepted and then turning it down. It does not hurt your chances for other programs in the future. I promise you're going to be fine. Although you must be 18 when you're doing your college program, there is no maximum age for the program. I know a lot of people are worried that they're going to be too old for it. There's people that I worked with during my programs that were on their CPs and over the age of 40. Don't be worried about your age because once you get into your location, you're going to work with people of all different ages from 18 to 75 so whatever age you are is a perfect age to do the program I will say it is very fun to be 21 on the program so if you can squeeze it in after you turn 21 maybe try that but if you can only do it before then then you're still gonna have a fabulous time something to keep in mind with the program is it does get difficult for people if you are on a scholarship some universities if you're on a scholarship won't allow you to take a semester off so definitely be talking with your university with your advisors with like the head of your programs and that kind of stuff to get a better understanding of how is this going to work most schools you also have to notify your university that you're going to be taking if you want to do like a leave of absence for a semester go ahead and try and contact who you think you might need to talk to if they're not the right person they can hopefully direct you to the right person but it really is up to you to talk to your university about how it's all going to work an important thing to note is there is a cost to do the Disney College program just to apply to the program there is no fee so you just fill out the application online and you're good to go you don't have to pay anything for that it's once you accept your offer if you are offered a spot in the program that you have to pay acceptances go out over about a two to three month span so it's good to know around when you apply that you're gonna have to pay almost $400 to the program if you are accepted. Once you receive your acceptance, you only have seven days to pay that program fee. So you wanna have that money set aside for whenever you hopefully do get accepted, you know that you have the money and that's not gonna be an issue in accepting it. The last thing that I wanna talk a little bit about is Disney look. Disney does have a very strict dress code, if you will, that all cast members have to follow. It has to do with your earrings, your hair, tattoos, your glasses, all that kind of stuff. I think the most important things to note is probably hair color. It does have to be one solid uniform color so it can't be like ombre or anything like that you can't have any crazy hair colors it has to be all natural colors and also I know as a glasses wearer I get asked a lot about what kind of glasses that you can wear really it's kind of the same guidelines that as long as they're pretty basic and a neutral ish color then you'll be totally fine I have these ones that I wear to work with absolutely no problem I also have these ones that I wear they're clear frames and the sides of them are gold I've never been told anything about these ones either I had some brown ones that I wore before and I remember that I was worried about those because the side of them um, like from here back it was like kind of tortoise ish and like a little bit lighter that I was worried that because it was a different color it would be an issue totally fine 
I have my nose pierced and I get asked a lot about that as well. So for piercings, you are only allowed to have one hole in your earlobes and that is it. So when I'm at work, I don't wear a nose ring. I don't wear any sort of like plug in it or anything because technically that is not Disney look either. Like the clear like retainers basically for it. Same with I've got a couple other piercings here and there on my ears. I don't wear any of those to work either. It's fine obviously just to have like the hole from it. Like I can't just completely close up all of the piercings that I have. However, you just can't wear anything in those holes other than your first hole. While you're working, all tattoos also must be covered. I do not have any tattoos, so I don't have this problem at all. However, regardless if it's a Disney tattoo or not, it does have to be covered. A lot of Disney costumes offer a long sleeve option and long pants option, or you can always wear just a solid white shirt under your costume. I know for the boutique, we don't have a long sleeve option and the sleeves stop about here. So people that have tattoos on this part of their arm have to wear a long sleeve shirt under it. When it comes to applying, I promise you don't need to lie about any of the tattoos or piercings that you have because you'll get in more trouble if you don't tell them about it and they find out kind of. So just be very honest but know that you are going to have to have them covered. Depending on where your tattoos are, you can also cover it with makeup. I know one of my roommates my first program had a tattoo behind her ear, which obviously there's nothing that you can wear to cover that. So she just had to cover it every day with makeup, which as long as it's covered is fine. There are some roles, like I know with quick service food and beverage, if you have any tattoos on your hand, you can't wear makeup on those because it's a safety hazard. But for the most part, even if you have tattoos, you are still totally fine to work for the company. You just have to know that they do have to be covered. I feel like those are the most important thing with Disney look. I know that those are the ones that I get asked the most about, so hopefully that helps a little bit. I know you probably still have tons and tons of questions about the program. Don't worry, this is only day one of five, so there is plenty of information and more details details coming very very soon in the next couple of days so if you do have any burning questions feel free to go ahead and comment down below I'm going to try and reply to as many of them as I can if you are a cast member and you have some of the answers definitely help out some friends down there but hopefully I will answer them in the coming videos I hope you're excited for this week of Disney college program magic and I will see y'all again tomorrow bye